Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today and calling me in for another post-production demonstration. Today, we're going to look at Avid and the best ways to record voiceover and get that voiceover onto your timeline. Let's crack on. Hi, and welcome back. Well, you know me, you know I like to do short and concise videos. And today I'm gonna to do a short and concise video about something in particular. Now, along my travels, it's something that people have asked me quite often, and that is, how do you get voiceover into an Avid timeline? How do you get guide com? And today we're gonna to use the audio punch-in tool. Okay, so you can see I've got a sequence here, and I've got a video and two audio channels. Now, if you can hit Command and U, you'll generate another audio channel. Let me just turn these lights off, leave that one on. Now you can see I've got a mark in just on that second shot and I've got a mark out at the very end of the timeline. Okay, if you go up to tools and then go to audio punch in tool, you can see this little box pops up. And there's a few things to look at here. This is quite useful because we can hit this audio tool and this gives us a level, a selection level. So we can see how high the audio is coming in or how low. Then we've got the pre and post roll. I always add three seconds here to the pre. So three seconds prior to it recording. So that's always quite useful as a bit of a run up, a bit of a guide. We can also see that I've selected, I'm gonna select the built-in audio because this video has been recorded on the USB mic. So I'm gonna separate those out at the moment. Uh, channel one is the input. Now I can select it to be a new track or I can select audio three. And that's the channel that I want it to go to. That's the one that we made earlier. And as I go down, Avid's media, management structure. I don't want it to go to the hard drive. I want it to go to an external drive. I'm going to select that. And then I've made another bin and number five underscore com. I've got a separate bin for all the commentary I want to record. So that's quite useful. Now, before we start, really important, mute your any channels that are, are, are on the timeline. Otherwise that sound will actually come back through and be recorded over your microphone. We don't want that to happen. Okay. So if you're ready, hit the record button and here we go. Testing, testing, testing the microphone. Testing, testing, testing the microphone in Avid. And we can hit stop and that records it and places it onto audio three in that area that we've marked previously. So let's just play that back. Testing, testing, testing. And there we go. There's my dulcet tones sitting in the timeline. It's guide com, guide voiceover. Catch you next time. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.